Can you stop being so nervous? I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like I literally poo in front of you. Okay. No, so just remember everything that I just said. No, right. go with that. Because I it's can't. Like when you... I can't introduce your YouTube channel. No, already. you can't. Okay. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. That sounded like new for Porter, didn't it? Perfect. As you can see from all the cards, it's my birthday. <laughs> so yeah, basically we're in London for my birthday. We came yesterday mm. and what did we do yesterday? We went for a burger oh. and yeah, it was good. It was what was it called? Burger. Beyond Bur Burger and Beyond. Burger and Beyond. Yeah, yeah it was burger. so good. So if you come to London, go try it. We got our about six o'clock and then we just got ready and went for a burger and then pretty much came back and watched the film. But funny story. Oh. So we were sat in the burger place, and across from us there was this like I'll, I'll insert picture so you can see like what we've seen, and it said like peep show, strip tease, all that jazz, like neon signs. Yeah, we were sat having a drink, and we were just like, should we just go over there, like just try it, just for the experience? And yeah, I went over there, went inside, and you know there's a guy and a woman stood inside the door. And the guy was like, oh, have you got a reservation? And we were like, no. And he was like, have you got a reservation? And Joe was like, ah, it's code. Bit of code. Yeah, yeah, we have yeah. got a reservation. <laughs> and then the woman's like, you do know this is a restaurant and this, the outside signs are just for decoration. Yeah, and we're just like, ah. It's Mexican. <laughs> it's a Mexican restaurant and it's got like peep show, striptease, everything on the outside. Mate. But bless you. Um, I tried. Yeah, he tried. tried. He was like, yeah, I'm, I'm with the lingo. Yeah, we've yeah. got a reservation. And it, mate. So, yeah, that was really fucking embarrassing. Oh, and God. Yeah, we pretty much just came home after that. Today, we are we are literally just about to go shopping. And then we've got our reservation at Gaucho booked. Yeah, the reason we booked Gaucho is because we went there before in Edinburgh. Loved it. So, we booked Good that. Good restaurant. Good restaurant. Yeah. But we need to get on shopping because it's actually 11 o'clock already. So, I'll, I'll give you a room tour now quickly before we go. But when i tell you it's so big in this room it's actually mental you might want to go and make a cup of tea yeah. or a coffee just while we do this because you're going to be a while yeah literally it's so big in here but i'll give you a room tour now the place we're staying is zedwell underground tottenham road court i think it's called um how you remembered all that? I know. that's, that's extreme but it was really cheap and it's a really really good location but yeah, you'll see what I mean by the room now. I'm saying but too much and I'm too much. And but, 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 but. Yeah, we literally just spent the morning opening cards, um, presents. Well, I did anyway, Jay didn't. And Jay went to Starbucks and got me a coffee for when I, <laughs> when I wake up. But yeah, so excited to go shopping. That's literally the main reason why I came here because I love shopping so much. And I've actually got a blow dry booked later, but I need to ring the hairdressers because I'm hoping that they can put rollers in my hair and I can keep it in whilst I get ready. So yeah, need to ring those, but I'll give you a room tour now just so I can stop blabbing and we can get on shopping. So this is our door when you stand outside. Hey MTV, welcome to my crib. So yeah, as you walk in, this is what you can see is bed. It's like, it's called a cocoon, but basically, yeah, it's just really closed in. It's really comfortable and it's absolutely massive. And these are the lights that we have. So when you turn these off, um, it's really dark in there and there's no windows in this room. So you can imagine how dark it is. But yeah, it's just like that, got all my cards. Then you turn this way. Nice little mirror for like seeing your outfit and stuff. And then, uh, you know, you've got a big door here. It really opens up the room when you open this door. Yeah, and then um, we've got a nice storage here. Got a nice little shelf. Yeah. And uh, that's about it, really. And that that is all the storage Yeah. the whole, whole room. That is literally all the storage you get in this room. So, yeah. if you're looking for space, do just don't come here. Don't come but I'd just say don't come here anyway. It's <laughs> so small. It is so small and <laughs> it just constantly looks messy because you've got nowhere to put stuff. Like we've had to put our suitcase in the bathroom, in front of the toilet. But it's nice because you can use that as a headrest yeah, while you're you, you doing your business, rest. you know? Yeah. But I just did want to quickly show you before we leave, I wanted to show you these trainers. Basically, Joe bought me, he went to Amsterdam a couple of weeks back. And he bought me back these trainers, but I'm actually going to return them because... She's ungrateful. No. <laughs> Shut up. No, I love them. I love the colour, but I just don't love the style of the shoe. So, like, from the side, it's like that. Like, don't look too bad. Colour is amazing. Like, love the nude and the white. But from the top, I just... 
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just, I don't love the top. I love the bottom of the shoe though, it's really like cool. Looks like year six pee dabs, like. Yeah, <laughs> I don't love them and I don't want to keep them and not wear them. So I'm gonna take them back and I'm gonna get white shadow air forces, which is what Joe's wearing now, is the chunky white ones. Right, so we're just out shopping. The only places we've been to so far is Nike, Foot Locker and where else did we go? Under Armour. And Under Armour. But, um, yeah, we went to Nike to return those shoes that I didn't want and they wouldn't do it because we bought them in Amsterdam. So we're going to have to contact customer service and hopefully they can give us a refund online. But yeah, we're just literally going into House of CB now because I need a dress for tonight. Bought two things so far. Bought some Nike socks and a hat. But I'll give you a haul when I get back. Right, I'm in House of CB. I need to talk quietly. I need to hurry up because well, because I'll get copyrighted from the music. But just trying on some dresses and stuff. This is dress number one. But not loving it. Right, I'm really not sure if I've styled this right, but it's basically a dress that Joe picked up. And this is how I've done it. I'm not sure if it's right, but it's like that on the back. Basically, it was in the cell. He was looking at the cell section, and he picked this up. So I need to go show and see if he actually likes it or not, but it's not too bad. Okay, I picked up this dress just to try on, but it's £169. I don't know if I can justify paying that, but it is fucking stunning. That is like a long dress. I feel like Joe's going to like this, but how nice is that? The lighting's really weird in here. Let's see if I can show you that. Right, we've just left Bershka and we're going to have a five minute break on the bench because <sighs> tired, aren't we? It's tired work, mate. Um, it's tired work. I'm doing pretty well with this so far. Well, that's Jay's bag. He's actually spent some money, which is quite good because he didn't like me. spending money. <laughs> <laughs> but I bought a black dress, which I may end up wearing tonight, but I'm still going to go out and look in Zara now and TK Maxx for a dress. And I definitely need heels either way if I wear that simple black dress or not. I need to get some silver jewellery because I only bought gold jewellery with me. But that's about it really. I can't really vlog in the shops because there's music on and I'll get copyrighted. Oh yeah, my friend Rosie. Rosie, if you're watching. I know you watch my videos, so if you're watching. She actually got me a gift card for my birthday. So I'm going to go spend it now. Don't know what I'm going to get. I'll have, I'm sure I'll find loads of stuff to buy anyway, but yeah. Thanks, Rose. And we need to go get some water because the only thing we've drank today is I've had a coffee and a Coke. So that's not great because we're going to be drinking later so I need to drink some water because tomorrow we're going sightseeing. We're going to be tourists tomorrow. A lot of sights to go and see. Yeah. So we need to make sure we don't get hungover. And all the makeup has come off. Come. Okay, no, 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 all no, the makeup no. has come off on my chin. Like that looks disgusting. And I got a load. Like if you can see I got a load of. I can't get that close up to the camera because it looks disgusting. But I've got a load of um, texture on my skin Black at the minute. Heads. <laughs> um, oh, you got something to eat? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Now we're going in my favourite shop ever. You excited? <laughs> Just have my blow dry done and I'm walking my centre of London from there <laughs> looking like this. We've just got back to the room, we finished shopping for the day and we're both freaking exhausted. I did just run, so basically I went to Boots earlier and because my foundation ran out and I've got the HMB Cosmetics one. They didn't do H HMB Cosmetics in that Boots, I think it might just be online. But I was looking at Fenty Beauty foundations and they didn't have my shade. They had one that was similar but it was a bit dark and orange so... We was like, oh, I'll just go get my hair blow dried and then we go to another boots. But when we went to the other boots, they didn't have any beauty in there. They didn't have any of the like high end makeup brands. Have any there. Yeah, it was just like a small pharmacy thing. So I just literally just picked up these. It was like five pound off if you spend twenty pound or more. So I just picked up this one. It's quite an old foundation to be honest, but it's the only one that I could find that had a shade similar to like what I like. Yeah, it's quite an old foundation, but I have heard um, some good things about it, so I'll just try it. It's a bit risky because it's my birthday meal, but it's fine. I, I think I've got a tiny bit of foundation, so I might just mix some. And then I just picked up a skin tint because I've been wanting to try this for a while because a lot of people said good things about it. 
and I've got the HMB Cosmetics glow skin tint thingy but I feel like it's more of like a glowy thing it's not more of a it's not really a skin tint I wouldn't say I feel like it doesn't really have any coverage whatsoever and I feel like a skin tint does have the tiniest bit of coverage so yeah I just wanted to try that so to make up for the £20 I got those two but yeah it's quarter past six our reservations for half eight so I might jump in the shower now just so I can freshen up I need to shave I want to I want to do a face mask but I'm not going to because I don't want to ruin my hair and I need to pick my toenails and yeah but I might do a quick haul actually of what I've bought so I can show you the bits mm -hmm. this is my bag from today so went to Foot Locker Bershka, Zara and House of CB. The first thing I will start with is Foot Locker. Oh yeah, if you're wondering where Joe, you probably don't care where Joe is, but if you're wondering where he is, he's going to find glasses because he got me a bottle of Prosecco for us to drink tonight before we go out and we've got no cups. So we might have to drink out of the bottle. So the first thing I got was this hat. It's from Foot Locker, it's one of the new era ones. I think it's called new era but it's like a i don't know whether you can see see the color very well but it's like a chocolatey brown taupey kind of color um it went really well my outfit today i wish i wore it to be honest but i just wanted to be one of those gym girls who wears a hat and stuff you know i just want to be all cool so got one of those i can't believe i'm filming like this i look like an idiot but you've got to trust the process i've never actually had a blow dry before so i'm hoping that i love it the i'll put um the hairdressers that I went to on the screen because the woman who did my hair, her name was Lauren and she was so nice. I, f I completely forgot to vlog when I was in there but once I remembered and I was like, is it right for a video? She was like, yeah, of course. Like, yeah, the hairdressers I went to was called Headmasters and it's near Oxford Street in London if you're going to London or if you live in London, I don't know. So the first thing I got in House of CB, I actually got it from the sales section and Joe actually picked this up and he was like, I want you to try this on. And I was like, no, I don't want to try it on. Don't like the colour. He was like, I'll just try it on. I think it looks quite nice. It's pointless me showing you this right now, to be honest, because you're not going to be able to see what it looks like. But I think Joe's got a clip of me wearing this dress. So if he has, I'll try and insert it here so you can see. But yeah, I didn't realise they've got a massive room full of sales stuff in the House of CB shop in London. So... It was originally 129 and I got it for £30. Like, that is a sale price if I ever did see one. But it's basically like this movie kind of pinky colour, which I'm not too sure on, but the dress did look really nice. And we're going to Portugal in May, so I'm thinking to go to like a nice beach bar or something when we go there. In Zara, I think I said before, I haven't got an outfit well I bought one dress with me that I was maybe going to wear but I don't know I just still wanted to have a look around outfit because I wasn't sold on it so much so I did actually pick up a black dress which I'll show you in a minute and I needed some heels to wear so I picked up these from Zara how stunning are they like look at those oh they're so nice they've got like I don't know if you can see properly but they've got like really glistening diamonds I think that's what the word is yeah, I got these. They were £50 from Zara, which is a little bit expensive, I would say, for heels. You can get some nice cheap ones, but they were really comfortable and they're not too high either. They're a really nice height. Love the pointy, pointy toe. So yeah, I picked up those. I think they're stunning. I think they're so nice. What else did I get? Oh yeah, it was this stuff. So we went to TK Maxx next and the... First thing I picked up was an eyelash curler, just because I curl my eyelashes all the time. I just picked up another one because I feel like eyelash curlers, well I do buy cheap ones, don't get me wrong, but I feel like, do you know like when you press them in and like the spring in them like loses its like strongness? I feel like that happens a lot, so I do pick up uh, no eyelash curlers quite a bit. And then from the men's section in... Oh, uh, do you know what this is all oh, no, I'll do the TK Maxx stuff first. Okay, make it easy for us. So I picked up these gold rings. Um they're sterling silver. Not that it makes any difference. But it's just these rings with like some nice cute diamonds in them. Because I needed some jewellery to wear tonight. I did bring some stuff, but I forgot to bring like a nice necklace and 
my rings are in my gym bag which i completely forgot about so i just bought these but i think they're so nice they look really expensive i don't want to show my nails because it's really nasty but i feel like they're just dirty from where i've just been out all day and i just feel bleh. then i picked up oh those were 16.99 by the way for those then i picked up well joe actually picked me these up because i did say i needed some diamond studs so it's just this blah this is this Let's try that again. So it's just this big pack. Why can I not say that? It's just this big pack of just diamond earrings. Because I feel like sometimes when I wear big hoops, I feel like it looks a bit silly with like little ones on my seconds and thirds. So yeah, want, wanted these. And made sure I got square diamonds because for some reason I don't like circle diamonds. Hi. Oh, you've got some cups. Open cups. You've got paper cups for our Prosecco. How fancy is that? How fancy. <laughs> I don't know whether you can actually even see, but yeah, that's them. And it was only $16.99 for all these pairs. So. I wanted a nice dainty, dainty necklace to wear tonight because I've got like just this plain black dress. I wanted to just spice things up a little bit and I just got this little dainty necklace with J, with a J on it. Um, yeah, because obviously, um, of my boyfriend uh, John. Do you know him? Yeah, John. <laughs> Next stuff is from Bershka. Got some really, really nice stuff in Bershka. So first thing I got was from the men's section. It's actually this cap. Not sure why I bought it, but I tried it on. It looked really nice. It's got like a green thing. I thought it was like a nice green jumper or like an all black tracksuit. Might look quite cool. I probably ain't that cool to pull it off, but bought it anyway. And that was $15.99. I got this dress gonna be really hard to show you it off but it's basically just like um it's like that really soft like thick material just got thin straps like that and it's just long like down to your feet all tight all the way down and that was 17.99 and i got it in that khaki green and then you'll see in a minute i got the exact same dress in black because i was looking for a fancy dress but when I went to Birch Cut and tried it on, it actually looked really nice and I thought with some nice hills, bag, jewellery, got my hair curled, actually might spruce it up a little bit. And I was looking at a dress in House of C CB, which was £170 and this one was £17.99. So it saved a lot of money and obviously just got the black one too. But what's nice about it is, um, like, it's that nice cottony material, but in the bra bit, it's like double layered. So it's just nice and thick and really, you know. So I got that. The next thing I got was this top. So it just looks like a plain, taupey, brownie, grey top. And then it's just backless on the back. And it's got that like twist detail at the bottom. But I just love, I love backless. Backless dresses, backless tops. Love them. And I'm going to the gym and actually gaining some back muscles. It's nice and that was 15.99 and it's in that like um skims type of material and then this was in the sale so this was 13.99 down from 20 pound but it's just like a blue and white striped shirt um it's just shirt style it's cropped it's like a cropped shirt but it's got like this big pocket on the side but it's like quite a cool pocket and i thought with a really small white like crop top underneath it or like a bando or something with some jeans and maybe those heels because i'm going to a brunch with my friend jess for my birthday so i might do this with some jeans and those heels and my denim no my yeah my denim diesel bag that might be a cool outfit that was all that i got i really thought i bought more don't that happen you feel like you've bought so much and when you get home you're like wow i've actually only bought two items and i've been in like three shops but yeah, it always happens though. Like when I've got money to spend, there's never anything. And when I've got no money, I want to buy everything. It's always the way. But yeah, I've still got loads of money left for my birthday, so that's a plus. I can put that into savings or, or I could just spend it. I don't know. I wanted to do a get ready with me for YouTube, but I might do a TikTok get ready with me. I've never done one before, but I might do it on my camera and turn my camera sideways and do it like that. Right, we're having some Prosecco now in our fancy, fancy brown coffee cups. Really being winding down today, am I? 
um, but I will be winding down later at the mill, which is quite nice. Okay. Cheers. Warm. Warm and vinegary, but cheers. Yeah. So we've just took all the clips out of the air. And um wow, look at it like this. Wow, I look like cool, you actually look like um Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, you I? actually do. <laughs> you actually do, jeez. I know you have got a thick girlfriend, haven't you? Yeah, I am lucky. Oh we've got a runner clip. Oh. But so far loving it, I'm not gonna lie. Very voluminous. What, voluminous? I don't know. Is that actually the word? Right, so I'm going to do the flip over. She just said, flip it over, shake it, break all the curls up. Pour it how you... Wow, look how, how much volume there is. Fuck me. Wow. I really didn't you expect look it. Like you have so much more hair. I do, don't I? Sorry, I put the camera on to show you guys and I'm not even... Wow, she did an amazing job. Don't get me wrong, I need to style it a little bit, get it into the place. But my hair has never looked this good, ever. When I try to curl my hair, it's slicked to my head like that, it's like I put gel on it. And this is just absolutely amazing. You look really good. You look amazing. God, when I walk in Gaute tonight with my heels on, just like, yeah, no. people's gonna be like, wow, she, she's got a penthouse in London. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, That's our Aston Martin out of <laughs> Wow, well chuffed with it though. It looks very... Oh, those men. Very Banksy. Hope it lasts. I wish I had some hairspray to hairspray it more. Did you not have them? No, I only got hair wax. But, Joe's gonna take a million photos of me now. And that'll be so, terrible. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, so I can cherish my hair looking good because it'll never look like this again. This way behind us is Westminster Abbey. Westminster Crabby. Yes, sir. There's Big Ben. There's Big Ben over there. Big old Ben. Oh look, the London Statues. Eye, you see it just behind that building there. Oh yeah, out there. And we're still here with my mate, Mandela. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna explore, be tourists for the day. I need to get a coffee because we didn't have a coffee yet. We just had some breakfast at Bill's. That was so good, wasn't it? It was really good. Um, yeah, we're just gonna, gonna walk around and be tourists. So I'll show you some clips of us walking around, but I haven't really got much else to update you on, to be honest. I felt a little bit hungover this morning, but yeah. feeling much better now that I've ate and drank. It was all right, Joe's just uh, looked on maps. No, 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 I am right, I am He is right, right. that is, is Westminster Crabby. That is Westminster Crabby. But who likes my hat? I think it looks quite cool. My outfit looks quite cool today. I've got Joe's green jumper, my hat, Zara jeans, Converse, my Fendi bag. What are you you've wearing? Got the House of Lords over there. House of Lords. Um, yeah, enough of this. Let's go get coffee, all right? I got um, shoes from P Money. Trousers, <laughs> P Money. <laughs> right, coffee. No, seriously, now. Yeah, coffee, coffee. We just spotted some geese. Hello, sir. We've reached Buckingham Palace. Look how pretty this is. 
Oh. Well, we've seen that. Mm, let's go, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's not really much else you could What's do. <laughs> here at Buckingham Palace. I think I said, sorry if my camera quality keeps changing. I'm on my phone on my camera. But I just chucked a penny in and made a wish. Oh, Jay just made a wish as well. What do you wish? I can't tell you. <laughs> but yeah, super good assessment photos. Where are we going to do next? Uh, let's, let's Look at her. Lizzie. Yeah. Or Lizzie's mouth. Lizzie. Um, yeah, so we just realised that's not actually, it's both us, uh, Victoria, so. My yeah. issue's not going too well <laughs> It's really not. As embarrassing. I was like, ah, Lizzie! <laughs> Right, we've just got the tube again. Where are we now? Uh, the Bloom Museum. No, I mean, like, wh where is this? Oh, uh, we're on the River Thames. Oh, we're on the River Thames. Can you see it over me? Thames Bridge over there. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah, you can see. But yeah, Jay's brought me here to go to a museum, and it's called the Bloom Museum. It looks like this on the outside. Hopefully, it's quite cool. Apparently, you can get some really cool photos in here too. So that's good, because I want to get some cool photos. But we're now buying tickets online. If you're wondering, it's £36 per person on weekends. 